Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. Um, so, this is a Let's Make a f Faux Chandelier um, project. Um, and basically, basically what happened is I jumped on this hamster wheel of accordion cards that we just made uh, together. And I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be fun if you could hang something else in the center of this? Uh, whether you wanted to put a gift card in the middle, you wanted to um, maybe hang a pair of earrings on an earring card in the center of it, um, uh, just anything else other than um, the a paper um, centerpiece. Uh, you could technically actually hang whatever you wanted to in the center of it. And so what I wanted to do was I was going to show you my, well, I was going to put together with you an idea of a faux chandelier because I thought you know if you're displaying this wouldn't it be cool if there was like this whole like dangling um I have these well actually they're these here and I thought wouldn't it be like super fun if it had like a really neat looking like fake chandelier that hung in the center of it it was like all you know these fun little beads and things like that that dangled down in the center of it um i was actually thinking you could this would be a really fun place to display you know those fancy chunky dangles that they do um and whatnot and then i was like well actually it's anna griffin it should be a chandelier so i thought oh dude let's make a chunky dangle that resembles somewhat of a chandelier and hang it out in the center instead of the paper sentiment. And uh, then you could use these for, you know, more cards and stuff. So um, I thought, hey, let's see if we can put one of these together. I watched um, just recently a Vianney Creates video. And she got these cool loopers. Uh, one step uh, looper things. And uh, she said the best one was the... What is this size? was the middle size, the 2.25 size, this here. And um, I gave them a whirl, and they actually work really good. I just put that one together um, for the bottom of my faux chandelier. And uh, so I thought, hey, let's let's give this a try. And so this video is going to be making the faux chandelier. And then the next video is how to alter the top of that card to hang literally whatever you wanted to put in the center of it. And so the idea I have is to make it to where you could either just have the dangle, they could leave it in and that's your centerpiece, or the gift is the dangle and you can take that off and then send alternately something to hang in the middle of it after they took it off. Like say you made a dangle or you did put a gift card or something else, but they wanted to, to display the card, then you can make it to where your paper centerpiece, they could clip it into the center of the card and then they could display it somewhere. And how pretty would that be? It would be just a super fun extra element that would make the whole thing fun. So this could be the gift holder as well. Um, and I was thinking, yeah, like earrings or a keychain or something small like that or a gift card. You could even do a gift card. They could unclip the gift card. And then especially if you put the loop, like you're going to run the loop with a jump ring, a larger jump ring. You'll have to reinforce a, a large jump ring. So you're going to run like you would run a loop of ribbon through the bottom instead. And that would come out the top and it would have a tie at the top instead. Or you could keep the loop. And like we did on this one, you could make it all one step by gluing all these pieces together pushing the loop through and then uh you know that has a jump ring actually you put the jump ring on the loop and then run the loop up and then you tie a knot and that would make it faster or if you wanted the loop on the top you would do like we did with this piece and instead of one side you would put a loop through that had a jump ring on it that you could attach stuff to and if you don't have like jump rings and you wanted to you know do something fun like a gift card you could actually put on the loop instead a keychain ring most people have extra little rings hanging around um you know little clips from different things and so i thought well you could actually go through a you know one of your junk craft drawers where you got this extra stuff and pop you know pop the loop and put that in and then you could dangle the gift card from this you know you might have to put it side you know long ways but it would still be fun 
like it'd be really cool but anyhow uh so that was that was the idea if you just want to run with it you already know how all these things work and um that was that was the intention though was uh, to do it just like that but or hang out with me and make a dangle and then uh move on to the second step on the next video and uh, so forth so let's see so what i've done already is compensated for the fact that i'm going to have a piece hanging off the bottom of this um and then this is going to connect to a large jump ring like so um so i've made it to where um this piece here is four inches where's my ruler so where are we here we've got a and i got a t square today um that would have been so much easier to do the cross sections on that card yeah i got a four inch piece of chain here roughly and we're gonna start with this and i'm just gonna go for it i've never made one before but i was thinking if you guys have if you guys haven't either then we'll figure out the follies together so the idea was i was gonna hang this so this gives me five inches that's should be about five ish and then i thought well i'm gonna have the jump ring at the top from the ribbon and then um I'll, i was gonna actually put a little clasp on it so where's a clasp at oh right there's a clasp let's see oh it's one of those kind oops oh and it pops off oh lovely so let's grab we're gonna we're gonna make it to where it comes off so i'm gonna put a clasp on it and then this is just a little kit i got off of amazon it came with a whole bunch of different pieces oh there's silver there's a giant silver jump ring right there oh i'm gonna use that instead because those don't really go with the um china cabinet that's like antique oh yeah look at that giant jump ring oh we're so doing that one and it's party okay so we got our jump ring for the top we got our clasp for the top but i need a tiny jump ring to hook that onto there or much smaller and so i'm gonna use these tweezers and grab one out because these are so small there we go i think that's too big i uh, might need a smaller one maybe maybe this is the proper size might might have should have figured uh how to put this together first oh oh hey nice i think that's more of an appropriate size there okay 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 so then uh let's see so then in that set also i don't think this is the proper style i think i need uh, if i'm gonna add pearls I, this also should have some of these little crystal pieces so i'm gonna remake this one and what I used for that were, um, where's those pieces at? Um, and I'm going to need another one of these. These are a wedding. Um, I just typed in Amazon, um, pearl. I was actually originally looking for the pearl. Um, what were they called? They're a bead. Um, they're pearl strands. I was originally looking up pearl strands. Uh, right here, string pearl. It's party decor. Pearl bouquet decor. Party decor. Where are you guys? Can you see that? Yeah. I was originally, I typed in string pearls, uh, pearl bouquet party decor. I didn't type that in. I, I typed in string pearls um, decoration. And it came up with all these kinds. So these are just the straight ones. But then it also came up with these cool little crystal beaded ones. Um, and then... Uh, these round ones as well and these are all like part of the wedding like the wedding stuff a wedding you can do wedding floral pearl decorations um stringed pearls stuff like that and those pieces will come up um you'll get a whole bunch of different kinds and they're actually relatively inexpensive um just a few dollars and you get a bunch like this this pack came with all of these there was like a bunch in here um, so that's what I'm using. I'm cutting these apart for my sh faux chandelier. And these are actually getting cut in half. Because what I'm doing is... Um, I'm actually 
wait, cutting them off and then cutting the little ones off. So the, the big ones can be part of one and then the little ones can be. So I was cutting them like this off that and then cutting about, oh, uh, about a mm, th three eighths of an inch away. Is that three eighths? I don't think it's a quarter. Oh, well, three eighths is bigger than a quarter. So actually, it's probably um, an eighth. It's not very big, anyways. And you can actually bend these with your finger. There. And then the top piece. So you just kind of manipulate it how you want them. And I want mine to hang down. Like so. And then you take this little piece there. And these. And I hold my hand backwards like this. Grab the end of it. And then twist towards myself. And then it gives you a little loop at the end. I don't know if you guys can see that. See the little loop at the end? So then, if you just put it in front of you, you can finish twisting it up. Oops. Like that. And then you get that nice little loop. Where are you? Come on, focus. Oh no. Right there. See the little loop at the end? Oh, darn it. Right there. See it? And then you get that. So that's what I did to all of those, um, to all of these. Just snipped them off, cut them in half, did my little, um, twisty thing at the end, and then squish, and then you get a nice little. A little ring there there okay so there's that one and then so in this video I'm only putting this together so if you already got this figured out you could you know move on to the second part of the other video or scroll to the end and see what it looks like <laughs> see look at that is so fun these little things were great let's see Cut off another hunk. See, this one is the interesting one because it's all twisted up together. And I need a, a little section of the top so I can have a little ring. Let's see if we can get that to come off. There. I might be able to just ad lib with that little section there. Because I'm only doing a dangle. I'm not... A decoration. I'm not. Come on. Wait. I think I went to. I don't think I went to the end. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the, the closer you stay to the end of the these little pliers... The smaller your loop can be. See, like that. There. Now we have a little dangly piece there. And is that it? Oh, no. I still have two more. All right. So that's going to get me two more little dangly pieces. And a big one. And some of these go nicer than others. I'm not sure what makes it go nicer, but it just does. Oh, man. Okay, got my little hole. These are so pretty. These little crystal dangly things. 
They reminded me of a chandelier. They actually remind me of one. There we go. Okay, so now let's see if we can get these. Oh, that's right. We're going to use, um, let's see. I have these really cool decorative um, end pieces. And so I thought, let's go ahead and, because I want the top of this to be a crystal bead instead of another pearl. So it will all go together when I make these other little pearl dangles to hang in the middle of each of the crystal dangles. And it will all look like it's supposed to go together, you know what I mean? And so these are fun because they make the end of the dangle look really decorative. Look how pretty that is. And so I'm going to get um, out of this pack. I bought it just a regular pack of pearls, um, all different sizes. And um, I'm going to pop that on. And then I bought a pack of these little... Oh, gem. I don't know if it's a bead. It's not a bead cap. It's a, and I, it's not a jump ring. It's a, oh, what are those called? Those are called, uh, um, there's a special name for them. And I, I can't remember what the, the fancy name for those is called. And so this, that same kit that I got those, um, other pieces out of this piece out came with these. So I'm going to snag one of these little crystal ones. The white. Don't this look super fun? I'm going to snag one of these out and hope this works like the little pearl did. Oh, it's kind of small. Oh, do I have any other larger ones? Hold on, the kit, the other kit I'm using. This was a big jewelry making kit I got. There's two other layers that are below that have all the pieces. It comes with wire. It comes with everything you could possibly. It's like a starter kit. Let me see if there's larger ones. Because that, that one's not big enough. So I wonder if I'm going to have to use the other. Yeah, I wanted a bigger gem for the center. Shoot. Well, okay, let's think about this. Darn it. That's a bummer. But there's no white. You, you just get this color. If that was white or clear, I could put that and then do the pearl in the center, which would be actually really cool. Could I use that one instead? What if... Mm -hmm. God, wouldn't that be pretty if we had... What if we use that instead as the dangle at the bottom? I mean, if we're going for faux chandelier, that looks like the end of a chandelier piece. Could I just use that? It's black, though. <laughs> I don't... Okay, what, what else is in here? Let's dig. Let's see. Is anything else fancier? Then this. I got shells, beads, alphabets. Oh, cool. A uh, little, uh, there's these little tassels, but eh, that's not really what I'm going for. Um, let's see. Alright, this is the other portion of it. No, this doesn't look like it has anything else in it. Alright, hang on one sec, because I think I've got more stuff. I think I might have more of these somewhere else. Hold on one sec. Oh, cool. Found it. It's this, um, I got these on clearance. I think these were at Joann's or Michael's, one of the two. And I think these beads are bigger. Let's just double check here. Ooh. Yeah, because these are pretty small. Oh, yeah, I think it's good. Oh, look at that. 
That is so cool. Okay, so now we want a bead cap for that to make that even prettier. Well, uh, let's see. Right here, we're going to use these. And I love these little ornate ones for, like, doing Anna Griffin. They're just so beautiful. So I think we're going to give this a try. And I think uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's run that through our looper and see what happens. So what I gathered from using these is... Okay. the um, That little pointy thing goes faces you. See that little, there's that little pokey thing right there? It faces you. And then there's a hole. See, there's a hole right there. You're going to run this metal piece over the top of those two pieces under that pokey thing and in that hole. And your bead cap, the end of your, the end of your charm is going to go right up to this lever here. And then you're going to just slowly crimp and then, and then it's going to make the little dangle piece. So you just pop it off. So then you just pop it. That's your cue. Pop off. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, it's holding it. So you have to open it just a bit and then it, then you can slide it off. But look how fun that is. Isn't that great? And then that is going to be the end of our chandelier. <laughs> okay, I think that is actually really cool. So now let's figure out how to get these other pieces on. So let's see. I think I want to take this piece. And I think I need to attach my... I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to attach my little clasp. Oh. And then I think you just crimp that together, maybe? You just squish these together. Oh, maybe that's what the flat thing is for. Ah, uh, you put it in the flat piece. The flat part of your... Um, see, it has a, that flat piece. I think that's what you're supposed to do with that. It squishes these together. So it keeps them nice. So then we have our little bead holder there. That looks pretty good, I think, though. And then it's not going to come off. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so we got that. And so now we want to... Oh, I should have probably added this to that, huh? Can I sneak it on there? Opening is big enough to... I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to have to have a jump ring for that. So let's grab a jump ring. I'm going to use the same tiny one I used for that other one. Boy, these reverse scissors are... Scissors. These reverse... <laughs> What's a reverse scissor? That's funny. The reverse uh, tweezers are nice for grabbing a piece you want and then kind of manipulating it around um, to get all the other ones off. And, and even for holding these little things. Let's see. So you can twist that little jump ring wherever you want it. Okay. And then... I think that's where... It, oh, and then put it in the flat part. And then... Ta-da! Oh, look how fun. Already got first part of our little uh, chandelier done. Okay, this is great. Okay, and so now, okay, so I need to make a few more. Let's see, we need to figure out where these, where we want these little guys. Okay, so that's going to go. And then you kind of dangle. So those, okay, so I was going to put all the large ones. You know, like up here, like so-ish. And then all the small ones were going to go down here, like so-ish. That was going to hang off the top. And then I thought, oh, maybe, 
And then I was thinking I could put a few pearls in the center. So like maybe three pearls there and three pearls there. So let's make one of these up and you can see how those go. And then I'll put one of each on and then I'll assemble it and then show you what it looks like at the end. Uh, so let's see. We need these. There's these pins. Where are those things at? Uh, I had a bag of these like browned pins. They have this. They're like basically the end of the bead. Oh, maybe they're in here. Oh, I think they're in here. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. And I like the round ones. It gives it like quite a bit of character. They have flat ones too if you don't want that at the end. But these are really neat. And uh, all I did was add, put a pearl on it and then put it in the looper and it worked great. And then look how fun it is with the little, that little bead on the bottom of it. So let's see, I need a pearl. Let's see right here. Whoopsie. And then I'm pretty sure it was this size here. And then you just put it on here. Oh, maybe oh you have to push it on wow okay so then we'll put this in our looper again i'm just using that same 2.5 one running it in there putting it all the way up to there boy that that is really cool and then look at that how fun is that and then we're gonna put these on our little thing so there's two where's our where's our little Oh my goodness. Oh, right there. <laughs> it's like I lost them again. <laughs> yep. Okay. And then we'll have three for the top. Oh, wow. This thing makes it go so fast. Holy cow. This is like super nice. Glad I got this. Oh, there's the three. Sweet. Okay. I just need three more. Oops. All right. Pretty sure this is the same size. Yep. So, yeah, this looper thing is fabulous. These were a little bit expensive, but wow, totally worth it. Uh, they weren't bad on a single pair, just on... Um, Just on, um, this is like kind of opened. I don't know if that's gonna. Oh, there we go. Um, on a single pair, they weren't bad, but the whole, all three of them, they were like $69. So it's kind of quite an investment. Um, if you don't use them all the time, but it does make it easy. I will say that if you did want to start doing them all the time. Adding this type of stuff to your projects. It definitely makes it uh, pretty fun. God, yeah, see how fast that is? That is so fast. So, two, four, five, last one, six. I think this is great. Pop it in the looper. Oh my goodness, yeah, like, come on, that is so fast. Okay, now... Okay, so now we just need these, and we need a few of those little uh, jump rings. Okay, and we're going to keep using these little ones. Boy, I wouldn't have guessed I would have used these little ones so much, but wow. Um, oh, okay, okay. This is where the reverse tweezers is nice. Okay, and now, okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put the beads at the top, and I'm going to go on the very top of the chain. Oh, perfect, Nugan. Oof. Wait. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slippery little boogers. Okay, stop squeezing the pliers. All right, now the top of the chain. The top of the 
cup of the chain. Come on, it's your cue. Oh, there's the first one. Cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. And now I think, uh, let's see, she said she adds um, one to each side and whatnot. So I think I'm going to do try to do the same thing. Um, so let's see, where are we going with this? So one, she put one on one side, Aviani did, when she was making her dangle. And then, like so. And then, yeah, boy. If you get the reverse tweezers down, how to use those, this, this part is not bad. Yeah, it, it clamps them together really nicely. It makes it so much easier. So there we go. There's, there's that one. And then let me add a third one. On here somewhere maybe we'll have to go like the piece down the next chain down I think but I don't think that's gonna matter I don't know I've never made one okay and then this one trying to move my little tweezers so that way I can get these little pliers onto it and not oh yeah that's cool oh look at that okay so that's what that looks like right now now let's add one of our um, chandelier dangle pieces let's see we're gonna do the large ones at the top okay and then we want to hang these right under. And crimp. Oh! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong way. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get all those around the same spot. And then we'll put the little start the little pearls like right about there so let me go ahead and get the rest of those because there's quite a few and um i'll show you what it looks like after i get them all the way around hold on okay so this is what it looks like after i have all the big chunky ones on and so now what i want to do is i want to add some more pearls right right about there and then finish putting all of these little dangle pieces on it um the, the smaller ones so Let's see, I'm going to go right about here, add, oops, like a so, like that, and I think I can add two onto here, and then I'm going to take this. And squish the top so then what I want to do is on the opposite side of that one on the opposite side which is that right there oh come on Where are you Okay, we're going to add our third one. And then we're going to squish. And then we'll see what that looks like. Oh, we're getting it. Oh, let's see. Should we have added? Okay, I think I want to add. I think I want to add a few more pieces right in here i i think it's it's not chunky enough at the bottom right there i don't know let me let me add the other stuff and see what it looks like and then we'll go from there but let's see we're gonna add 
so let's see we're gonna do um let's see let's see there's that we're gonna go right about there and then let's see and i've been putting two on each jump ring so it stays like so it gets a little looks a little fuller Okay, and then the opposite side of that one, you have to go, come on, see the opposite side, ah, didn't have a good grip on this guy, so then find the opposite side, she is right there. There, all right. Add two. Oops, one. And two. Well, I got it all twisted up. Oh, perfect, Nugan. Well, that's what happens when you do that. Oops, so did it drop with that, or where am I at? There's still a jump ring on there. Oh, yeah, the jump ring's still on. Nope, not anymore. All right, so let's try not to have this all janky. Actually, what I, I wonder if it would work better if I grab it across the bottom on these. When it gets heavier, you're kind of having to uh, reassess where these things are. Whoops, see? <laughs> yeah, you're having to... Okay, then. It's heavy, so it doesn't want to... You know, it doesn't doesn't have enough strength to hold it by itself. So now you're having to help it a little bit more. All right. Okay, so we're on the opposite side. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got this. So there's one more. Oh, whoops. Not the jump ring. And maybe we can add it to the others. Oh, hey, we got that. Okay. Oh, cool, cool. Let's see if we can squish that together. Oh, cool. Got it. Nice. Okay. Oh, I still have two more. Okay. All right, we're getting it. Okay, let's see where we can add. Okay, what do we, how do we feel about that, though? Um... Actually, let's look at it as a whole. <laughs> it's starting to look really cute. It's starting to actually look like a little chandelier. Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, yeah. So these last two will be a hoot. Those would be great. So let's just add them. I think I'm going to add them one to each side, though. So it's even. Whoops. Let's see if I can get this squished together. There we go. And then let's see, where is that one? The single one is where? Come on, little fella. Oh, I mixed it up. Oh, these are doing the tango right here. Sheesh. There we go. No. Nope. Let's do the other side here. Okay. Let's see if we can get that on there. Oh, good. Got it. Nice. Oh, swell. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. Do we need to add? Oh my gosh, how fun is that? If that dangles in the center, oh, it actually looks like a chandelier now. It just needed all the pieces. 
Oh yeah, doesn't that look like a chandelier? That is so stinking fun. Um, I think we can actually be good with that. I'm actually very happy with that. And let's see, let's see, let's just pretend like, okay, so let's see, let's pretend like we made, okay, and then this is going to hang, I think this is great. We just have to shape our little chandeliers to where they hang down for the most part. Okay, so we got that. Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Okay, so then it's going to hang in just like this. It's going to be about that long. So even in reality, this one is actually pretty long because um, it's actually going to have to come down about a quarter of an inch uh, because it's going to have a jump ring. So this is a little long. I would say probably the end of this is where you want it to be. So if I was going to actually do this, I should have hung it up here and then made that the end. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to ad lib and go from there. But I think, I think the faux chandelier is a win. I think this is going to be really cool in the middle of one of these. So let me get cleaned up here. All this stuff cleaned up, my bead stuff cleaned up. And, um, then I'll come back and we'll assemble a card. I'll put all the pieces together. We'll assemble, except the top. Like, I'll have, I'll have like, the bases all, the, these all decorated up. So all we have to do is glue it together. And then I'll end up gluing these two pieces on to the base of this. And that way, all we have to do is put the legs on the top. And it'll be a really short video. So, or could I, it's only 40 minutes. Maybe I'll just add it to this one. Okay, I'll add it to this one. Actually, never mind. There's no second video. I'm going to add it to this one and I'll make it go quick. So let me clean up and I'll be back. Okay, so here we go. So this is um, the part, if we want to change it to hang on the accordion cards, uh, something totally different in the center um, of, of it. We want to hang a gift, a gift card, um, or just a really fun, this little... Um, faux chandelier piece I made for the center of this one and so what you want to do is so what I have here is I've assembled the whole bottom of the card uh, put my decorative layer on the bottom of it added the two legs onto the card base uh, like a soap and then <clears throat> I assembled the entire top and I left this one with um, the ribbon hanger in the center uh, you could eliminate this step here, uh, this step here, and added the bottom mat to the bottom of it, and then um, cut a hole through all of the layers, and then um, strung your, do what we're going to do right now instead, <clears throat> um, and used a bigger piece for your uh, hanger at the top. But I wanted to have a loop, so... Um, I'm going to do mine this way. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to need, so if you're going to use it for a loop as well, you're still going to want a 10 inch piece here. Um, but since I'm hiding mine, I'm going to go ahead and I only need like, let's do like a four inch piece. Um, so I have two inches on each side I can tape down. Um, I'm going to do about there on mine. And then um, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to I want to take oh I needed to close up the jump ring it actually needs to be closed so whether you're so if you're gonna use a <clears throat> for this piece to do a dangle a something else and you don't have a jump ring or whatever you want to use a key ring or whatnot this is actually where you're gonna loop the ribbon through <clears throat> whatever it is that you actually want to hang um to to use as your hanging mechanism and the fun thing is is the ribbon allows like the claspy portion to be a little bit disguised so this key ring opens um like this and then so you can and then hides the closure pretty decently uh if you wanted to put a big clasp on it so you could attach something to it like say whatever you're putting on it has a loop um this is where you would put one of these on you would just string your ribbon through it uh like so and then that would be hanging from 
uh, the bottom of here and then you're gonna run your you're gonna run your ribbon through the hole in your mat and then that's how that is gonna dangle there but I'm just doing a jump ring because I made a, my faux chandelier with you guys and so um but I need to close my jump ring so let me get this in these tweezers to where I can hold it Um, I think I need another pair of pliers, uh, cause it's not really closed there. There. I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, oh no, that's still not closed. Oh, bummer. So maybe it's because, hmm, maybe these you have to, um, Hmm. I'm a novice at this. I don't generally do beading or any of this kind of stuff. So, you have never actually... Oh, that looks good. That's actually... I think that'll keep. So now I want to run my ribbon through here. All right. Yep. There we go. I'm going to put the little uh, bendy part in the center so it's disguised. And then you're going to take and you're going to run this into the center on the pretty side of your mat. You know, the pretty side that you want to be seen. And then you'll have that cool little ring piece there like that and now what you want to do is you want to oh okay and so the other thing too is orientation on this um okay so we want to make sure that where whatever you want to be front is your oh wait yeah your dangle so depending on what it is you're hanging you're gonna want your ring to be in whatever orientation you need it to be in Mine doesn't have a direction because it's a faux chandelier. Um, so I only have to be worried about the orientation of the mat layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some score tape down as well on top of those pieces. Uh, I'm going to run them down the center of the um, lines, my, my score lines there. Not score lines, my, um, pencil lines that I use to get center. And then, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach my legs now. And I'm going to put glue and pop these on. Well, actually, we'll just do it together. So, putting glue on the inside and my pencil mark for these is at one inch on the outside to line up with my... A score or my <laughs> pencil line there to make sure I'm center. These are my center marks here, and to where I could punch my hole, and then I have a, then I have a line that I know where the center is, so these all hang evenly. Okay, but that's gonna go on the top of it. Oh shoot, I left my pen out, so it's um a little bit grouchy. So put some glue on this. Oops, well that got overzealous there. Oof, got glue everywhere, geez. Ah. Okay, now we're gonna kind of... We're gonna line... We're gonna put this all the way to the edge of our fold line there. Alligator it over the edge. Make sure our pencil lines are marked up. And then burnish... There's Buddy here. <laughs> 
I was playing with Buddy. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Make sure to make sure that edge is pushed all the way up, and then press it down. And I and I and I alligatored it over the edge to make sure it was gonna you know be able to fold, uh, hold the fold really nice. So let's do that to this side. I already got my pencil line in the center there. Flip it over. Put glue on that tab. Okay. All right, alligator it, center it up. There we go. Press it down, make sure it's all the way to the edge. All right, that looks pretty good. There we go. And it, it'll fold really nice around that. Okay. And now I think I'm just going to go ahead and add score tape to this so I don't have to wait for it to dry. There we go there. Sneak another piece in here. I'm gonna run a couple there. And another here. There. I think that'll be just fine. So, okay, wait. So let's grab this guy off. Make sure to fold our extra tape in. Kind of press that down. Oh, one sec. John just came in. Okay, that was John. And I finished taking the backers off while I was chatting with him. And then, um, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to attach our top piece, now that we got that done, um, and make sure that it is how we want it to be. And let's see, where's our loop? Uh, actually, I was doing my folded edge front, and then my loop is going to go towards me, hopefully. And so I'm going to line this up on here. Try to get it as straight as possible. Oh, that's about as good as I'm going to get. And then press it all down. And then I have flowers for the top of it. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and then... Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Uh, then you want to attach your dangle. Okay, so let's see. Need to make sure mine's all in a nice little fashion there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops. There we go. Oh, and then look at, look at that. Okay, so that's the ceiling, so to speak. And then... That is my chandelier. Okay, so let's fold all this back up. Let's see this. Wait, wait. Yeah, this goes this way. This goes this way. So it goes like this. So when the person pulls it out of the card, out of the box, I mean, it's going to look just like that. So let's see if it's straight even. And it actually hangs straight. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that terrific? And then I think the chandelier faux pieces are just going to kind of be whatever however they're going to be because they're wire they're going to bend in shipping and stuff like that but I thought this was actually just a fun different way to um you know have something fun and dangle in there it could be a little bulkier you could actually make it chunkier but this card actually hangs pretty straight so I'm just going to add the last of the little flowers to the top of it here the little I 
um, wanted to add these for color, but I was waiting to see if I needed to strategically place them. So it kind of just all ties in together. Um, so let's maybe do one on one side. Because there is like a lot of blue on the rest of this. Oh, but I'm covering up my little... So let's just put it out here then. And then put this one maybe out here. In the same kind of spot. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh. See what I mean? I added two extra pieces and now it's a little bit not happy. Oh, see? Now it holds. Yeah. So you have to be very strategic about where you put stuff. <laughs> Or it doesn't be happy. <laughs> but now it's it's actually hanging straight. So there it is there. And then there's the side of it. Isn't that so pretty? And it is just there and it just swings around. And the sentiment on this one says uh, sending hugs. Isn't that sweet? And uh, okay, so faux chandelier for the win. Or do you guys like the paper sentiment better? The fun thing is, is you can actually, um, if you put the ring there like that, you could dangle a gift card off of here. You could actually do um, a pair of earrings in a bracelet or a pair of earrings on a card because those those earring cards actually have a hole in the top. So you could run a ribbon through it, a ribbon through whatever your uh, jump ring ends up being and then hit, dangle it in the center. And it would just be a fun way to give a gift card or a little gift or something like that, you know. Um, whether, you know, for a granddaughter or a sister, something for your mom, uh, whatever it would be, uh, your wife, whatever it'd be super, super fun. Your brother, if it, cause if it's a gift card, it could be for anybody, you know, but yeah, so there it is there. And, uh, I thought this just came out so stinking cute. So there it is. All right. We'll get off this, uh, hamster wheel, uh. Um, accordion card deal and uh, move on to something else but I just think these are so stinking fun let me know what you guys think of the project down in the comments below and uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week until next time happy crafting bye, -bye.